In addition to the molar volume of a gas, the density of a gas is also one of those properties uh, that the ideal gas law, which is PV equals NRT, can be used to find. And one of the things that, help, that can help you get started with calculating the density of a gas is to recognize that the density of a gas is the molar mass of the gas divided by the molar volume of the gas. And this is pretty, uh, pretty easily justifiable because remember the molar mass of anything is just the, uh, the mass, m, over one mole. And the molar volume of a gas is the volume per one mole. And my one mole cancels here and here, and I'm left with mass over volume, which is what density is. Density is mass per volume. So let's, uh, let's calculate the density of a couple of different gases at, S, uh, at, at STP and see if we can't make a couple of generalizations about density and molar mass. So I'm going to calculate first the density of hydrogen gas, H2, at STP. So the density of H2 gas, that's going to be the molar mass of H2, which is approximately 2 grams per mole. And I'm going to divide that by the molar volume of an ideal gas at STP, which is always 22.4 liters per mole. And I explained this in my last video. So if this number, if you're wondering where I got that, uh, just view my last video in the playlist and uh, that, will, uh, that will clear up any, um, any confusion. So 2 grams per mole over 22.4 liters per mole, uh, moles cancels, and I'm left with gram, a density that is in grams per liter, and that turns out to be 0 0.089 grams per liter. So now let's calculate the density of another gas. Uh, let's calculate the density of oxygen gas, O2. So I'm going to do the same thing, molar mass over molar volume. Molar mass of O2, that's about 32 grams per mole. Molar volume of any ideal gas at STP, again, 22.4 liters per mole. As in the last one, moles cancels with moles. I'm left with a density in grams per liter, and that number turns out to be about 1.43 grams per liter. So notice that O2 gas, which has a much higher molar mass than uh, H2 gas, is also much more dense. So we can conclude that the molar mass of a gas, excuse me, that the density of a gas is directly proportional to its molar mass. So this explains why if you, feel, if you fill a balloon with hydrogen or helium, it will float. Because those, uh, those gases have such small molar masses that uh, their densities are small enough and their small, the density is uh, lower than the density of the air and that's why hydrogen and helium rise. So that's basically the take home lesson. Uh, the density of a gas is proportional to the molar mass. The higher the density, excuse me, the higher the molar mass, the higher the density. So now uh, let's uh, start getting into a way to calculate density uh, more, I guess fundamentally, using the ideal gas law, which is, uh, I'll leave it up there, PV equals NRT. So I'm going to arrange, uh, I'm going to rearrange this equation, uh, PV equals NRT. And I'm going to do that by dividing both uh, sides of the equation by, let's see, what am I going to divide both sides of the equation? Uh, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by VRT. So I'm going to take PV over VRT, and I'm going to take NRT over VRT. And you'll understand why I'm doing this uh, in just a second. So if I get uh, my, I'm going to also invert my sides of the equation to make this just a little bit more cleaner. So over here, my RTs will cancel, and I'll get N over V is equal to, over here, my Vs will cancel, and I'll get P over RT. So this is just rearranging the ideal gas law equation. It's the same equation just shown just a, a slightly different way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to multiply both equations by the molar mass. Both sides of the equation by the molar mass. So both sides of the equation I am going to multiply by the molar mass which is capital M which is also equal to the mass 
over the amount in moles n. So I'm going to multiply, like I said, both sides of the equation by m over n. And if I multiply the left-hand side of the equation by n, uh, m over n, I will get, uh, let's see, go back to my black pen. I will get m over n times n over v is equal to, I'm just going to leave the capital M uh, alone as is on the right hand side of the equation. So I'm just going to say M P capital M P over R T. And the reason why I did this is because if you look at the left hand side of the equation, moles cancels out with moles and we have mass per volume, which is density. So D is equal to M P over R T. M is, is, is a little m over n, so we can also say that the density is equal to um, little m p over nRT. So this is uh, how to calculate the density of any gas using the ideal gas law. So not only can you calculate the density of a gas at STP using molar volume and molar mass, but you can also calculate uh, the density of any gas at any temperature, any ideal gas at any temperature and any pressure using this relationship here. So I hope this video uh, was helpful.